What's up guys, it's me, William Worth, and recently I started a new world, and I wanted to kind of make a tutorial like most Don't Starve YouTubers do, but mine's going to be fairly simple. I'm going to try to teach you how to make defenses for hounds as to become a problem in later days. And what you need is hounds' teeth to try to make tooth trap. What you can do is get it straight from the hound or bones. What you want to do is hit it once, run away, hit it once again, then run away again, then hit it twice for a final blow. Which is fairly simple with Wigfrid's spear. I tend to use Wigfrid's stuff because it's easier to make and way better. Worst thing about hounds is they love to attack in groups. Usually when hound attacks happen, there's like two or three or sometimes even five or six. And it increases of your day's amount. What you want to do is try kiting, which most people do. But it's hard to do with such a large group. So you can try tanking it if you have armor. At, such as a football helmet or Wigfrid's helmet or... You know, marble suit or log suit. I usually, if you're, uh, if you're wolf gang, it's way easier because you have double damage and it's easier to kill them off fast. After you, after you have murdered off the hounds near the hound mound, what you can do is destroy it, which will stop hounds from spawning, and it'll top, drop two to three teeth, which is very good. But then hounds will start to come to your area near surrounding hound mounds, so best to single out one hound mound at a time because that makes it way easier and fighting hounds in a group is way more difficult and they'll keep attacking you without relent unless you're able to run away or get them distracted hounds are easily distracted so what you need to do is destroy each hound mound very quickly before more hounds come to the area and they drop a good amount of teeth and destroying it will stop hounds from spawning from that area forever indefinitely and it'll drop three teeth and two bones which is very very good you can make a lot of tooth traps and tooth traps are the best thing ever to have at a base after you destroy the hound mounds what you need is grass you can get it naturally from naturally spawning grass or from tumbleweeds which I prefer tumbleweeds because they drop several grass sometimes twigs and a random item such as a blueprint gem hostile enemy or etc you can drop many things which is very good on your part because you can get a little something extra. And the twigs that come with the tumbleweed is just gravy once you get the grass. You can get tons of grass from tumbleweeds. Or you can go to more easier alternatives which I will talk about in a second. But best case scenario, try to find a tumbleweed spawner. If you're a bum and don't want to leave your base, what you can do is make a grass farm as I do. Best to get 20. That's that's best case scenario if you want to keep it small if you want to make it big get 30 40 you know get the max amount but you'll need tons of fertilizer to fertilize the grass it is imperative to have grass to make rope so for this part I'm gonna speed up the process to make it a bit quicker cuz uh, it takes quite a long time what you need is a bunch of logs rope and hound teeth which you got I showed you how to get the hound teeth earlier and able to make rope so what you want to do is make a basic outline like a square a circle anything that you find good for you and you need to surround a specific spot so hounds aren't able to get in I made it near the water so hounds can't come from the top part but just in case I put two traps there and the thing about tooth traps you're able to put a bunch out of bunch of them in a single area but there'll be these little gaps in between as you can see when you turn the camera best to focus your camera angle and what you can do is put traps between those little gaps which stop hounds from getting for you because they'll stop and get hit best to have a bunch of layers so we're balls deep into this tutorial and to the next part what you'll need to do is eventually you'll get a crap ton of these and uh, as you can see it works very well <laughs> big old idiots and uh, you know wolf attacks will get more aggressive don't forget you'll need to reset the traps and fix them back up so they'll be armed and ready and what I tend to do is put eye plants around them just to pick up the meat and I could just go in and break them like kill the eye plant to make it a, a hell of a lot easier to do and as you can see watch bam 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 frozen dead you know you can get gems you get more teeth for more traps you can get meat which you can give to pigs and you can make wear pigs and get a shit ton of fertilizer or you can get like uh or you can just have pigs help you chop down trees if you're like wilson or someone who doesn't have a magical axe or can make clones of himself 
let me show you uh, a bit of the eye plant right here. So you just one, two, and then bam, you're straight to it. There's no eye plant surrounding it, so it's not tough to get near it. And once you break it, bam, you get a whole loop. It's easy, simple as that. And uh, what you might want to do is put like a restartable fire pit or lantern, as I put, to uh, in case town attacks come at night. You need to like book it towards there. Especially, you'll need a miner hat to get there. And it's pretty fairly simple to do, and uh, not that hard. But if you're a bit, if you're a bit of a pro, what you can do is kill deer clops and get his eye. Killing deer clops isn't that hard. It's just basic kiting. Hit him twice and run away. And what you'll need is his eye. His eye is crucial to this tutorial. If you get his eye, what you can't, what you need to do next is kill the ancient guardian, which I don't have recorded enough because I'm a bit of a scrub and I haven't found him yet. So. Uh, yeah, but the worst thing about deer clops is sanity drain. What you might need is jerky to gain sanity or green mushrooms. Or what you can do is put him to sleep with the pan flute and kill off the little uh, insanity monsters, the nightmare monsters, as he's asleep. And it's not that hard, and you get two nightmare fuel, two or one, and that's pretty good. Which you can make to, you can use to make dark swords with uh, living logs and nightmare fuel, so easier the kill easier the eye once you get the deer clops eye and the ancient guardians horn what you can do is come to the ancient pseudoscience station and you can make a bunch of things but what you want to make is a houndy shootia so what it does is shoots hounds and it's it's gorgeous perfect best to surround it by walls or something you know to protect it because it does have health and it can die so yeah, take this video with a grain of salt and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I worked really hard. Please try to leave a like and subscribe and uh, peace you guys. See you in the next one.